So now, now we'll change the rear shock. We'll start by removing the air box to get to the upper shock mount. We're gonna have to support the motorcycle. Um, you guys at home are gonna do it a little bit different than we're gonna do it here, but make sure it's safe and secure because the bike could easily fall. And then we'll uh, do the lower shock mount. To remove the air box, there's four fasteners, two on each side, a band clamp on the throttle body, the purge solenoid valve, the pair valve, and a vent. Disconnect the air line from the pair valve to the air box. The little vacuum line will be unhooked and unplug it. So just kind of wiggle the air box loose. It, uh, it'll sometimes get stuck on the throttle body. There's a pink drain line at the bottom of the air box. Disconnect that and pull the line up with the EVAP canister. Now we'll support the motorcycle to remove the shock. Make sure the motorcycle is secured properly. This is a pretty, uh, pretty important part. You don't want to tip it over on you. Grab a 19 mil socket and loosen the upper shock mount. Okay, remove the lower shock mount. And it'll uh, make it a lot easier if you also do the link mount as well. There's your rear shock. We'll have to transfer the upper mount to our new shock. Now that we have our shock removed, we'll transfer the upper bracket to our new Elka Race shock. The bracket is reversible but uh, just make note that the nut is gonna go to the right side when the Schrader valve is facing up. And this bolt's gonna get torqued to 55 foot-pounds. Now it's ready to go back in the bike. So now we're ready to put our shock back in. Like I said before, make sure the Schrader valve points to the rear of the motorcycle. Simply put it back up. Then it's, uh, it'll make your life a little easier if you put the upper nut back on to hold the shock while you prepare the linkage. The link mount and the lower shock mount get torqued to 55 foot-pounds. Then we do the upper shock mount. And that'll get torqued to 27. Now that your upper shock mount is torqued, we'll get it off the stand, get that bike safe again. 
Now we'll go ahead and put the air box back in.